It was the year 1804 when the first ever train was developed and used in the world. That train could travel at speeds less than 10 miles per hour though, which sounds excruciatingly slow. Today, a number of high-speed railways are averaging more than 30 times those speeds at upwards of 300 miles per hour. Humanity has definitely come a long way as far as the railway is concerned. <laughs> However, with the futuristic ideas presented by Elon Musk for his Hyperloop tunnels, it does look like the future is going to get very exciting. It seems unusual that California's high-speed railway would compare to Elon's futuristic designs, but the competition is well justified. So how will California's high-speed railway outperform Elon Musk's tunnels? Let's find out. Let's start by having a look at the models of Elon Musk's ideas. This is known as the Hyperloop train system, which makes use of tunnels. With Elon Musk's tunnels, we have a series of vacuum tubes connected together that essentially form a pathway for the train to move through. Unlike the traditional railway, Elon Musk's Hyperloop trains are not supposed to run on the regular railway track. That is exactly what puts them apart from any conventional train. But why is it that they're called Hyperloop? Hyperloop is essentially a concept developed by the founder of SpaceX and Tesla, Elon Musk, and the aim is ultra-fast intercity travel. What they intend right now is using travel pods inside metallic tubes, which Elon calls the fifth mode of transport after cars, planes, boats, and trains. Keep in mind that Elon attempts to refer to it as something set apart from conventional trains. The Hyperloop itself is nothing but a high-speed commuter and freight transport system. According to the initial design, Musk intends to take people from downtown Los Angeles to San Francisco in just about 30 minutes. Keep in mind that this is a distance of about 380 miles or 610 kilometers. The way it functions is by propelling specially designed pressurized pods using electromagnetic force inside a near vacuum tube. As you can imagine, this allows the Hyperloop system to run with negligible friction and air resistance. The pods are supposed to travel in a cushion of air within the tube using specially designed rails in a similar fashion to magnetic levitation trains that repel away from the tracks and forward using electromagnets. The electric compressor in the front of the pod will push air to the back. These Hyperloop tubes will then be mounted on earthquake-resistant pylons, which will be about 100 feet or 30 meters tall. What exactly will this system be powered by? Well, the answer is Tesla and solar panels mounted on the tube's outer surface. On the other hand, California's high-speed railway represents the epitome of success we have achieved in high-speed railway. When we talk about that, we are not just referring to the sheer speed of a train, but also the comfort, safety, and other advanced features and technologies it incorporates within itself. What speeds can be expected on both of these systems anyway? Make sure to keep watching for a detailed comparison. So what else do we know about California's high-speed rail that sets it apart from others? Their official website provides valuable insight into this project and allows us to understand what is good about this system. With a population in California expected to grow from 38 million to 60 million by 2030, the government had to upgrade its transport system. There were three options, increasing airport capacity, constructing new roads, or introducing high-speed train services between major cities. A detailed study showed that high-speed lines are economically, environmentally, and socially profitable and one was therefore proposed in 2000. Keep in mind that the California high-speed train project is going to be the very first high-speed train system implemented in the United States. This comes after more than a decade after the project finally received the state voters' approval in November 2008. This High-Speed Passenger Train Bond Act authorized as much as $9.95 billion in bonds to establish a clean and efficient high-speed train service that would connect the Southern California, Sacramento, San Joaquin Valley, and the San Francisco Bay Area. The decision to start the project, however, was made in 2011, and this was after detailed environmental studies and public opinion was gathered, despite the fact that the project's proposal was made way back in 2000. What is it that is so special about California's high-speed rail, though? It would be wrong to say that this project is a first of its kind, considering Japan and a bunch of other countries have already made significant progress in the area of high-speed trains. In fact, Japan had released its very first bullet train all the way back in 1964, and it was capable of reaching speeds upwards of 210 km per hour. Now, for California's high-speed trains, this rail is going to connect the mega regions of the state that contribute to economic development and a cleaner environment. It is also going to create jobs and preserve agricultural and protected lands. 
The system is supposed to eventually extend to Sacramento and San Diego, and by then, it will total 800 miles with as many as 24 stations. What about the speeds of these train systems, though? As advanced as the California high-speed railway system is, it does not compare to Elon Musk's Hyperloop tunnels. California's new rail system will run at speeds as high as 200 miles per hour. While those speeds can allow for fantastically low travel times within the state, they are not something out of this world. On the other hand, Elon Musk's Hyperloop tunnels are something completely different. By cutting air resistance and friction, they can essentially zero out any hindrances and limitations to the maximum speed of their trains. That can allow speeds up to 760 miles per hour. In case that does not sound already incredibly high, it might help put things into perspective by knowing that this speed is a few miles per hour higher than the speed of sound, which is about 757 miles per hour. It can be said that the good thing about California's high-speed railway is that it provides an accessible form of transportation to millions of residents of California. And unlike anything that has been seen in the US before, it incorporates state-of-the-art technology to achieve pretty good traveling speeds and times. Unlike Elon Musk's Hyperloop tunnels, this is not just a theory or an idea, but a reality that will soon be accessible to California's residents. Mind you that the initial cost of this training system was just shy of $10 billion. However, by making use of every feasible high-end technology in these trains, the latest cost estimates have jumped up to a staggering $100 billion. On the other hand, Elon Musk's plans could very well give a tough time to air travel businesses around the globe. Speeds of 750 miles per hour mean that you could travel between Alabama and Alaska in about three and a half hours. And that is a distance of just under three and a half thousand miles. Musk's idea would not only compete with air travel, but it will do so at a fraction of the cost. Elon Musk plans for the journey's cost to be set around $20 for a one-way journey. The potential benefits of the Hyperloop are many, and they are significant. It will not be wrong to say that when and if this gets developed, it will be a huge game-changer that is going to affect a number of industries. The advantages include the train travel being fairly rapid and cheap. Both of these standards have not been seen before. To make things even better, they will also be environmentally friendly. According to Musk, the pods themselves will be safe as well as comfortable, and each will be fitted with a number of emergency braking systems. Virgin Hyperloop and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies are working alongside Elon Musk to make Hyperloop a reality. Estimates suggest that this could be possible around the year 2030. Would you want to go for a ride in Elon Musk's Hyperloop train systems? And what are your thoughts on the US's first ever high-speed railway in California? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, take care, and have a great day.